Today I'm going to show you how to make this fun argyle seamless repeat surface pattern. I'm going to be making my pattern in the app Procreate. I've created a square canvas, 600 by 600 pixels at 300 dots per inch. You can make your canvas whatever size you wish, just make sure you're working in minimum 300 dots per inch so that your pattern prints clearly for a variety of projects. If you enjoy these tutorials, consider subscribing. So first I want to make my diamond shape in layer number one by dropping the color directly into the layer and then tapping the arrow tool and pressing rotate 45 degrees. I want it to be within the boundaries of the canvas, so I'll just press fit to canvas. Now this is my perfect diamond shape centered on my canvas. Make a new layer. I'll grab a contrasting color, this bright green. Now use this monoline brush. It comes free with Procreate and it's in the calligraphy section of your brush library. I'm going to draw a line the straightest I can from one corner to the next. Hold your pen down and you'll see it makes a perfectly smooth line. You could put a finger on the screen to make the line a perfect vertical line, a perfect horizontal line, or a perfectly 45 degree angle diagonal line. So I will hold my finger on the screen. It looks like it's 45 degree angle, but it's not in the corners like I want it to be. So I'll tap on the arrow up here and I want to scoot it up into those corners. So just scoot it over with um, snapping and magnetics turned on. It will show you when it is snapped into the edge. And I want it to be directly in that corner. And then I'll check my other side here. And just stretch it out until it gets into that corner. Duplicate that layer, then press the arrow tool and then just flip it horizontally so that it'll be a mirror image of your first line. Just wanna check my corners. It looks good, it's all the way to the edge. So we'll test this block by pressing this wrench and then add and then copy canvas. That copies this entire block right here. If you don't want the white background, you need to turn that off first before you copy your canvas. So in a new layer, I'm just going to paste what I just copied by swiping three fingers down and pressing paste. You can also do it from the menu up here in the actions menu um, under add paste. So this is my pattern block that I would like to test. I'll press this arrow tool. If you have snapping and magnetics turned on, it's easy to just drag this up into the top left quadrant and it'll show you the yellow lines when it's exactly snapped in place. I'll duplicate that and then drag it over to snap it on the top right quadrant. And then I usually merge those two layers together and duplicate those two and then scoot it down to snap into the bottom to check my pattern. Make sure all of your seams line up, especially in the corners where you made your um, angles go up to the edge. Make sure there's no white border there and make sure it's aligned properly. This all looks good. And so you could keep repeating this pattern as many times as you wish to make a smaller and smaller scale. Just duplicate it, turn off the first block that you just created there, and then snap this one up into the corners. And you can see how it looks on a smaller scale. Once you're happy with your background and everything, you can export this as your pattern block for sites such as Spoonflower where you can print your own fabric. You just go to the actions menu, and go to share and then you can export it as a jpeg or a png and this is the pattern block that you'll upload onto their website to print your own fabric for other websites such as um, society 6 or redbubble you will need to repeat your pattern block yourself so check out the dimensions for the pattern that you would like to make create a canvas in that size, and then you'll need to repeat the pattern manually and then upload that to your website to print on like a comforter or a throw blanket or things like that. You can follow me on Instagram and tag me so I can see what you came up with for this tutorial. I hope this pattern was fun for you. Here are some other videos that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.